proof positive that your thoughts do not become your reality and they never will is the fact that when you're sleeping, your mind is still working. So then that means to say that if your thoughts become your reality, you'd wind up manifesting ungodly things from some sort of subconscious primordial area of the brain. So it's not true. That's why they always say um, mind, body, soul for a reason. They want you to always tout the physical mind as the end-all, be-all connection to all things universal. Again, not true. Why? How could you have an out-of-body experience if you're not taking the mind with you? And before you came to this earth, you were pure energy. And after you leave this earth, you'll return to source again, to the formless non-physical, which means non-physical. Physical mind is non-physical when it's in metaphysical form. You are cosmic. This physical mind will always stay physical. You're not the mind. You're a soul animating the body and utilizing this to connect with this plane of unconsciousness. So you have to understand something. That um, when you, um, when you um, find yourself here, you know, they're going to tell you a lot of things that are not true. Actually, everything they tell you is not true. Like your thoughts become things, your, your thoughts create your reality, all of this stuff. It's not true. Thoughts don't become things and your thoughts do not create your reality. What creates your reality is your energy. It doesn't matter how that energy is being transported. Your energy is everything. You are energy. It doesn't have to travel in a form of a thought. You can have it in a form of an intention, an idea, a suggestion, a ponderance, a contemplation, a vision, a dream, goal, hope, aspiration, desire, whatever the case may be.